Hello Scorpio, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to be using the deck of the Qatars. Look it up with a C and an S at the end, also with the H there. It is definitely an interesting story and the only thing I'm going to tell about it is that it was a medieval religion and those people believed they lived in the matrix. They just called it the shadow world. And definitely look up the story of the Qatars. It is very interesting. So let me shuffle a little bit more. I'm going to pull five cards in this reading. One concerning the problem. Two concerning negative aspects. And two concerning positive aspects. Who might help you with this problem. So I'm going to measure twice. Cut once. This is concerning the problem, the negative aspects and the positive aspects. So without further ado, let's see what the problem is. And we have the six of wisdom in reverse. So the six of wisdom is the six of pentacles. And the six of pentacles is pointing towards a card that can be interpreted as a giving of gifts to people who are less fortunate than you are. Maybe you have uh, luck within your endeavor and make a decision to share with the people around you. Maybe family or friends who deserve it. Or maybe you share it with a charity. Maybe you think about profiting about the wisdom or somebody who, who can follow you up uh, within an important function you are doing. It doesn't always concern money. That's why it's also seen of um, the guru or the parfait in this case, the one who holds the wisdom of the old book, who leaves it as a precious um, object of this time. Books in this time were not copied yet, and so they give them, they pass them on on the deathbed. So in the upside down position, this card might be looking at greed and the wish to keep everything to yourself. So watch out for that. You might be charitable uh, if you solve this problem by doing that. Be a philanthropist. Be friendly might also be unexpected uh, ha uh, happenings so in the dark aspect of this card there is um, cov covenants greed um, jealousy um, cheapness and ambition so let's see what the negative aspects are influencing this card who might point to the time to pass on knowledge you have um, the Mimala Romentum, which is number eight. I guess that is strength. Let's see. It is a major arcana. The Mimala Romentum, it's justice. So balance go precedes movement and insight. So the believers had to be blessed by a parfait on their journey to enlightenment or journey to the good world. This might point to balance within this aspect. Justice, harmony, righteousness, undecided, uh, unpartiness, an honest outcome, balance and the law. Within the negative aspect of this reading, which this card is lying in, you might have prejudices, a false witness, uh, an intolerance, uh, an honesty, and bureaucracy within the negative aspect of this reading. So there might be a little off balance within your, you might want to straighten out those uh, or dogmas or maybe chakras i don't know what else we have in the negative aspect the ten of cups or the ten of love within this reading and the ten of love within this reading points to the home the land the country the public uh, image well-being satisfaction safety 
and people it's in the negative aspect of the reading so it might point to anger um an insult irritation a quarrel with family or friends or a battle so this also pointing to this aspect about being generous to people so within the people of this card who repre who points to um looking at their home city or village they usually see it as the center of the universe these people who live there as a, as their tribe but also dream of finding a home carried by the waves of joy passion and satisfaction you must really uh, really make care that the uh, overwhelmingness of your ego used to be bloated by the attention of others so maybe you're separating from others and you're not really looking back within the upside down position it is in the negative side my point that the sun comes from behind the clouds and the perfect world your home and anywhere else you might have created might look less attractive so that's it so let's see what for the positive aspects we have the two of love the two of cups which is the two of cups and the eight of wisdom so the two of love is the two of cups pointing to you have love on every level in your life that's the positive aspect of your being you have love in every aspect of your life a relationship problems in any kind of fashion they are enlightened by the energy they are softened by the energy of this card the aspect of choice is also apparent here it points to two streams who come together uh, when it's upside down it points to a relationship with a lot of quarrel maybe people who who were once very intimacy who were intimate are now divided or it might be a personal or business relationship when it's upside down it points to quarrel and and uh, not not understanding each other miscommunication extreme cases of divorce so with the aspect let's might be clarified by the eight of wisdom in reverse which is the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is pointing to a practical caring and careful person who is structured and focused somebody who's a very good employee so you might be a boss and you need to acquire strength to make your people or your employees a lot more happy um, this card uh, in the reverse might point to emptiness greed deceit uh, injustice unrighteousness uh, intrigue and dishonesty but in, within the positive aspect it points to practical aspects inheritance determination science and equalness and humbleness so be humble in your way of giving to people just show them your appreciation and show you care for them and make this um, quarrel resolve in your life so i hope that helped uh, Scorpio and hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching.